reviewing The Birth Challenge by Ashley Pitzer. I am an ARC reader. However, you can get this book on May 2nd when it's released, and I highly recommend it. This book drove me nuts in the best possible way. I couldn't put it down. There's a lot going on. Ashley builds up this very unique world. Um, it's based many, many years on Earth after a nuclear war. Everybody released nuclear weapons and destroyed the Earth. During this time, a very small group of people survived, um, but the Earth was laid to waste because of the nuclear radiation and whatever happens from a nuclear bomb. Um, powers developed, or as they call them, uh, MOWIN, M-O-O-W-I-N, special abilities that people developed to help them survive. Um, um, certain people develop these skills. In our time frame, these skills are now rare and are not as needed because the earth is healed and people are thriving. So they're rare. And the people that do get them are treated like slaves. They are forced to use them for whoever has them. Except in this one community where our story is based, the town is called Silver Dome. Um, and basically it's protected from the rest of the world by magical domes. Like all of the magical people or people with Moans come to this town for protection if they can. And that's where we find our main character, Sabina, has been raised here. Her father, Braum, brought her when she was younger. Uh, he's got special abilities. He's like a tracker and he can go track uh, down people that have these special abilities and he brings them back. Sabina has nothing. She is basically living her life unnoticed, unpopular. She has no friends except for one um, who's kind of like a witch healer crystal. She's a pretty unique character. She's going through life not being noticed. Um, her birth challenge is coming up and that is when the people are given their gifts or if they haven't already started to show they find out what special gifts they have. And they can range from very little bits to really rare and special and off the charts. Uh, Sabina and her gut feels that she has some, even though she's not shown any abilities thus far. And she's like really not good at anything, <laughs> but we love her. Um, when she finds out that her father has set her up with uh, eight <laughs> potential mates, boyfriends, um, they're called unions in our story. Um, she has to go on these interviews with these eight different guys that her father, again, set her up with. Um, and they each have one of the Moans or the special abilities that uh, go around. Of course, all this is very scary for Sabina, who, like I said, has no friends. So, of course, she's had no romantic life. Um, she's never even thought of herself as a being with anybody. Um, We meet all eight of the candidates in the story, but the main one is Flan. And I hope Flan, F-L-A-N-N. F -L -A -N -N. I'm sure I'm butchering these names. I apologize, Ms. Ashley Pitzer. Um, he comes earlier than expected, and he is basically her bodyguard. Uh, why her father has is off on a mission. So basically, Sabina is on her own and Flan, Flan, is a guest in her home and she has to take care of him. Again, she is completely a fish out of water, not social, doesn't know how to do it. Of course, so as things go, she develops a crush on him. Um, he develops feelings for her, but he's fighting it because he's already promised to somebody else. And this is where it drives me nuts, let me tell you. Because through the whole book, you want them to get together, but then you're not sure because he does have this other girl he's promised. Who do we root for? Do we want him to be with the young girl that he promised himself to or with our girl Sabina, who he is falling for and we know she has feelings for them. It's like a love-hate thing all the way to the end of the book. Not sure, you know, if they're going to be together. Wanting to be together, but no one is acknowledging their feelings to the other. Drives me nuts. But like I said, in the best way, because it kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time. Such a unique story. I highly recommend it. Uh, I couldn't put it down. I was really thankful to be an ARC reader on this book. So please go get it. Ashley Pitzer's The Birth Challenge. Uh, there's no spice in it. It's very clean. Um, there might, I don't know. It might be potential for spice in a future book just because of one scene that uh, we see. But I'm not giving anything away. So go get the book. It's worth it. I enjoyed it. Again,